Picture this. You're standing in your garden with a weeder in one hand and a basket in the other, ready to wage war against those pesky plants that seem to appear overnight. But what if I told you that some of those weeds you're about to uproot are actually working harder than your most expensive fertilizers? What if those humble plants you've been cursing are quietly transforming your soil into a thriving ecosystem that could make your neighbors green with envy? The truth is, nature doesn't make mistakes. Those plants you consider unwanted guests have earned their place in your garden through centuries of evolution, developing remarkable abilities to heal damaged soil, attract beneficial insects, and create the perfect growing conditions for your prized vegetables and flowers. Today we're going to explore four incredible plants that deserve a complete rebrand from garden villains to soil superheroes. Let's start with Clover, the unsung hero of the legume family that's been quietly revolutionizing gardens for millennia. When you see those delicate white or purple flowers carpeting parts of your lawn or garden beds, you're looking at one of nature's most efficient nitrogen-fixing machines. Unlike synthetic fertilizers that can burn plants and leach into groundwater, clover works in partnership with specialized bacteria called rhizobia that live in tiny nodules on its roots. This incredible symbiotic relationship allows clover to literally pull nitrogen from the air and convert it into a form that plants can readily absorb. Think of each clover plant as a tiny fertilizer factory that never stops working. As the plant grows and eventually decomposes, it releases this captured nitrogen directly into your soil, creating a slow-release fertilizer system that feeds your garden for months. But clover's benefits extend far beyond just nitrogen fixation. Its dense, low-growing habit, you know, creates a living carpet that suppresses more aggressive weeds while protecting the soil surface from erosion and temperature extremes. The flowers are absolute magnets for beneficial pollinators including native bees, butterflies and other insects that will thank you by pollinating your vegetables and fruit trees more effectively. Many experienced gardeners have discovered the secret of intentionally seeding clover in their pathways and around fruit trees. This practice, known as companion planting, creates nitrogen-rich zones that feed neighboring plants while reducing the need for frequent mowing or weeding. Some varieties of clover, like microclover, stay incredibly low and rarely flower, making them perfect for areas where you want the benefits without the height. If clover is the nitrogen factory, then dandelion is your garden's personal mining operation. Those bright yellow flowers that children love to blow into wishes are attached to one of the most sophisticated root systems in the plant kingdom. Dandelion tap roots can penetrate up to 10 feet deep, reaching layers of soil that your shallow-rooted vegetables will never access. This incredible root system allows dandelions to act as dynamic accumulators, pulling up essential minerals like potassium iron calcium and trace elements from deep in the subsoil. When the plant eventually dies back or when you harvest the leaves for salads, these concentrated nutrients are deposited at the surface level where your other plants can access them. It's kind of like having a natural elevator system that brings buried treasure up to where it's needed most. Dandelions also serve as remarkable soil indicators. Their presence often signals compacted or damaged soil that needs healing. Rather than seeing them as invaders, consider them nature's first responders, arriving to begin the soil restoration process. Their powerful taproots help break up compacted layers creating channels for air and water to penetrate deeper into the earth. The entire dandelion plant is edible and highly nutritious, making it a dual-purpose addition to your garden ecosystem. You know, the early spring leaves are actually delicious in salads before they become bitter. The flowers can be made into wine or even fritters, and the roots, well, they can be roasted as a coffee substitute. By learning to harvest and use dandelions rather than just eliminating them, you're gaining both soil improvement and a valuable food source. Chickweed might look delicate with its tiny white star-shaped flowers and tender green leaves, but this humble plant is performing some of the most important soil protection services in your garden. Acting as nature's own mulch layer, Chickweed spreads in a dense mat that shields the soil surface from the harsh effects of sun, wind, and heavy rain. 
This living mulch system is, honestly, far superior to traditional mulches in many ways. While wood chips and straw can create barriers that prevent air and light from reaching the soil, chickweed maintains a living relationship with the earth beneath it. Its shallow root system helps prevent soil erosion while still allowing deeper-rooted plants to grow up through it. And, the plant also retains moisture incredibly effectively, reducing your need for frequent watering during dry spells. One of chickweed's most remarkable qualities is its role as a nurse plant for seedlings and young transplants. Its gentle presence provides protection from temperature fluctuations and creates a more stable microclimate for vulnerable plants. Many gardeners have observed that vegetables grown in areas with chickweed ground cover often show better establishment rates and healthier growth patterns. Chickweed is also completely edible and packed with vitamins and minerals. The tender leaves and stems can be harvested throughout the growing season and added to salads, soups, or smoothies. This means you can literally eat your ground cover while it continues to protect and improve your soil. The plant has a mild, slightly sweet flavor that's particularly appealing to children, making it an excellent way to introduce young gardeners to the concept of edible landscaping. Finally, we come to plantain, the unassuming plant with broad, ribbed leaves that just seems to thrive in the most challenging conditions. Often found growing in compacted pathways, driveways, and other high-traffic areas, Plantain has definitely earned its reputation as one of nature's most effective soil rehabilitation specialists. Plantain's superpower really lies in its ability to thrive in compacted soil conditions that would, honestly, kill most other plants. Its strong, fibrous root system can penetrate hard-packed earth, creating channels for air and water while gradually loosening the soil structure. Over time, areas where plantain grows become more hospitable to other plants, essentially serving as pioneers that prepare the ground for a more diverse plant community. This remarkable plant is also a mineral accumulator, concentrating silica, sulfur, and other trace elements in its tissues. When plantain leaves decompose, either naturally or when you harvest them, these minerals are released back into the soil in forms that other plants can easily absorb. This makes plantain particularly valuable in gardens where the soil is depleted or has been damaged by chemical treatments. From a practical standpoint, plantain offers incredible value as a medicinal plant. Known as nature's band-aid, the leaves can be chewed and applied to minor cuts, insect bites, and skin irritations for immediate relief. Many herbalists consider plantain one of the most important healing plants to have growing nearby. By allowing plantain to establish itself in appropriate areas of your garden, you're maintaining both soil health and a natural first aid kit. The key to successfully integrating these beneficial weeds into your garden strategy is learning to manage rather than eliminate them. This doesn't mean letting them take over completely, but rather finding the right balance that maximizes their benefits while preventing them from overwhelming your desired plants. Consider creating designated zones where these plants can thrive. Pathways, areas around fruit trees, and the edges of garden beds are perfect locations where clover, chickweed, and plantain can provide their soil-improving services without competing directly with your main crops. Dandelions can be selectively maintained in areas where their deep roots won't interfere with shallow-rooted vegetables. Regular harvesting is another excellent management strategy that allows you to gain the benefits of these plants while controlling their spread. Harvest dandelion leaves for salads, clip clover flowers before they set seed, and gather chickweed for cooking. This approach gives you fresh, nutritious food while maintaining the plant's soil-improving functions. The transformation of your relationship with these plants from adversarial to collaborative represents a fundamental shift toward working with natural systems rather than against them. This approach, often called permaculture or ecological gardening, recognizes that sustainable food production depends on building healthy soil ecosystems rather than constantly fighting natural processes. By embracing these four soil saviors, you're not just improving your garden's health and productivity, you're also reducing your reliance on external inputs like fertilizers and soil amendments. 
This creates a more resilient, self-sustaining garden system that becomes more productive and beautiful over time. Ready to revolutionize your gardening approach and discover more surprising garden wisdom? Don't forget to subscribe to Smart Garden for weekly tips that will transform the way you think about gardening. Share this guide with fellow gardeners who are ready to let nature work its magic in their gardens. Together we can grow smarter, not harder.